Welcome to the third episode in the series, Memories of My Childhood. You know, as I previously noted, I was born in the 70s, but I, I grew up in the 80s and I grew up in the 90s, from being a child to a teenager to a young adult. You know, and I'm coming from a very poor and humble background, but our childhood growing up was full with fun, was full with joy you know, full of texture, so colorful. We did so many organic things as children growing up. And I know most of you out there can relate because you, you did the same thing, whether you were born in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. I know you all do some crazy stuff too. So on this journey, um, I want to share everything that I can remember growing up as a child and I know I'm going to bring in my mom, like my uncles, the older heads, some of the time to share their memories too about growing up. You know, I was growing up, uh, I grew up in Northern Clarendon, you know, in the country. If I hear about um, Bullhead Mountain, right up there in Kellitz, in Bullhead Mountain, that's where I grew up, you know, where it's mostly cool. You know, and green, a lot of farming and stuff. It's not that busy, but people always try to find some way to really have fun and enjoy themselves. You know, I started going to basic school at the age of four, Kelly's basic school, and I can remember the first day that I go to basic school, I mess up myself. And Every time I think about why that happened, I, I realize I was a kid and it's the first time leaving home from my mom and my dad and from my other siblings, going to a new and strange environment with stranger. And I was just afraid to ask to use the bathroom. So I just let it happen, you know. But the good thing still, where the basic school was from where my home was is not far, so I just take my little time and sneak and walk home, you know. And I can still remember some of the memory gems that I started to learn in basic school back then. And back then when you were learning those nursery rhymes, you, you just learn it because you was a child and your teacher tell you to learn it, but after thinking about it, we were young, first time in school, so they want our brain to really develop, you know, to open our brain to learning. So they start off with those small stuff uh, so that we could catch on and remember. So that when they teach us the more advanced stuff, then we will would have catch on. Also, okay, enough of that. Today I want to make three toys that we used to use growing up, we make them, you know. Um, we didn't have money to buy water gun and play play plastic boat or plain, plastic plane. So we learned how to make paper plane, paper boat and also paper gun. And today I'm going to try and remember to make them as, to the best of my ability. So follow me on the journey, okay? And if I make any mistake, please correct me in the comment, all right? Looking forward to hear from you guys. And I just want to say thanks again for being, for being a part of this journey, which is called AJB TV, you know, and without you guys, we couldn't have gotten this far. And I'm really, really, really appreciative of it, all right? I know you guys asking for peanut dread and stuff, 
Pino Dredd is my brethren, is my friend. And you will see and hear more from Peanut Dread on my channel soon, all right? Okay, the first paper toy that I'm going to try and remember to make today is the paper plane. And as I said, we were poor, but we know how to have fun and make, learn to make ties to have fun. So I think the first thing we do is fold the paper like this. Try to get everything even, you know? Fold it like this. Then you open it. Make a fold like this. Try to keep everything balanced, you know? Yeah. About right there. Yeah. So that's the first part. I think the next thing you do, you, you make a fold like this. And then you make another fold like this. See? Then you make one like this. Yeah. Almost there. See? getting somewhere, don't it? So, this little triangle part right here, we're going to bring it up like this. Then we're going to fold this in half now. Then we're going to make the wings of the plane. So you get this piece, and you bring it down like this. Like that. Flip it over and do the same thing. And there you go. You make the plane. So remember to do it after about 30 years, don't it? Yeah. And this used to be one of the toys that we used to play with when we were children, you know? So the other one that I'm going to try and make is the boat. Hope I try to remember it. It's a little bit more technical. I think you do more fold in the boat to get it. And we used to have a whole lot of fun with these playing in the water, especially after rainfall and you have the water running in the curve and channel on the roadside. We used to put our little paper boat in it to sail or if we go to the spring to catch water, we bring it with us and put it on the water to float. And if we catch a bug or a hanansi or something, we put them in put them in the boat so that the boat can float with them, you know. So to make the boat, I think you fold the paper in half this way. to make, keep everything even. As possible, it's not 100% even, but it can work like that. Then you're gonna fold it like this again. Open it back. Fold it like this. One, two, 
make sure both of them is even yeah something like like this looks similar to the plane don't it like making the plane but it's not I'm gonna take this little part and make like a cuff like a little um you make like a cuff I'm gonna fold it like that flip it over and do the same thing see I said I was going to make a plane, a boat, and a gun, and now look. This just comes to my memory. This is a hat. Who remember making hat like this? Out of like newspaper where you can get the bigger paper to make a hat to cover your head. To either guard you from sun or shelter you from rain. Who remember? Okay, so the next step in making the boat, you're going to open it like this. until the farm is square, like this. So these little ends, you're going to overlap them neatly. And then you're going to fold again, like this. You see, the boat is more technical than the plane. You're going to fold it like this again. Open it again like this and close it like this. Ready? Voila! Here we have a boat. Here we have a paper boat right here. Yeah. See? Here we have a paper boat. We used to sail these things in the water, you know, and let them float on the water. So, two down, one to go. So the other one now is a gun, but unlike the plane and the boat, you have to use two separate pieces of paper to make the gun. One for the handle and one for the mouth of the gun. I think I'm going to make the, the handle of the gun first. So, hope I remember to make this one. So, you fold the paper like this. Open back the paper. again like this like this and then we're gonna fold it again like this see yeah maybe I should make the handle a little bit thicker you know what I'm going to keep it like this instead of making it that small. No. Anyhow, I will see which one to work with. Then I'm gonna fold the other piece of paper like this. Open it. Fold it like. Yes. 
So this is the mouth part of the gun. See, so shorter than the handle, you have to make the handle longer than this part because the handle is what you're going to, you're going to make a special fold on the handle. Basically, you're tying both pieces of paper together, but as you make that tie, it's going to look like a little gun, you know. So that was going to keep it broad. So I'm going to do like this, and then do like this. Try to keep it as even as possible. You see? Uh, let me see now. I think. <clears throat> I'm going to make the crease on the other side like this. Like that. Then, do like this. See, this is a gun hanger right here. So this piece of paper now is going to be the mouth of the gun. I'm going to fold it in half, just like this. And I think now you have to do like this and try to get it. Get this piece through these two parts right here. So, let me see if I can do that. Yep. This is a little bit too thick, so it's not coming through that easy. So you're going to pull both parts through. Like this. I should make <laughs> this make, make um, the handle a little bit thinner, but you get what I'm trying to get right this is it the little paper gun and you used to play gun war every time we get lunch time or break from class or when we're at home we go in the bush and play cowboy and all type of stuff yeah so we make the paper gun we make the paper plane and we make the boat all right Big up on yourself, thanks for watching, and see you again in episode 4 of Memories for Childhood, alright? Later.